This video will demonstrate how to change the look and feel of your Google Sites web page. We'll demonstrate how to change the page layout from one column to two or more columns, and how to remove the site navigation and add some navigation tabs along the top of the screen. To get started, let's head on over to the Google Site we've been working in. Here we are back in the Google site we've been working on and the first thing I want to demonstrate is how you can change the page layout of your site. So I'm going to go ahead and click the gray pencil icon in the top right corner of the screen to edit my page. And by default my page is just one big column that I can do whatever I need to. We can easily change the layout of that page by clicking layout at the top of the screen and then deciding how we want the page to be broken up. One column, two columns, three columns, and then we have a few other more advanced options down below. To switch the layout, simply click the layout option you'd like, and then you'll see your editing window has been modified. Instead of having one column, I now have two columns in which I can work. If I do that again, I'll change that to one of the more complicated or advanced layouts, and you'll see I have a header, a left sidebar, a body, and a bottom bar, or a footer. I'll go ahead and change this back to the one column that I like. The next skill I would like to demonstrate is how to take this side navigation you see over here on the left and make a nice row of tabs along the top of our screen. So to do this, I'm going to go ahead and click the gear in the top right corner of the screen. And then I'm going to go ahead to the bottom and click Edit Site Layout. In the site layout over here, I'm going to look at this top bar that pops up. And I'm going to go ahead and I notice first that Sidebar is clicked. And this is the, you see the sidebar highlighted right over here. I'm going to hide the sidebar by clicking it again. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Horizontal Navigation. Now I want to add tabs for the other subpages I have created. To do that, I'm just going to click in this horizontal navigation pane. Now you'll see that I can configure my navigation. Down at the bottom, I can decide what style I want them to be, boxes, tabs, or links. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Add Page. If I want to add a page, I can go ahead and click the name of the page. So here I'll click Assignments and click OK. To add another page, I'll click Add Page again, click Course Calendar, and hit OK. And I'll add one more page. This one, though, is a subpage of the Home. I'll click the Plus button under the Home button, and click the link that says Contact Information, and hit OK again. The next thing I'd like to do is add an external link. So now I want to add a link back to the district web page. To do that, I'll go ahead and click Add URL, and then here where it says Text Display, I'll just type District Web Page, and then down below I'll type the URL that it needs to go to. I can choose to have the link open in a new window by checking the box, and then click OK. You'll notice that the little arrow to the right of the word District Web Page indicates that it's an external link that goes to a new page. If I'd like to reorder this, maybe I want to put my contact information first, I'll click contact information and then use the up arrow to move that section up or down. When I'm finished, I'll click OK. Now that our tabs have saved, we'll hit close and return to our web page. And now you can see that we have those five tabs, including the external link to our district web page at the top of each page's navigation. This has been a brief video demonstrating how to change the page layout of a Google site and how to add navigation tabs to the top of the page. 